Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of The Mist. So, well, Mr. Survival. So, in one of my last videos, I can't remember if I showed you guys everything, but I have been building on the side, just so that way I'm not really boring you guys with resource management and things like that. So, here we go. We got my little water distilleries, just, uh, well, water purifiers, just clearing up some water, getting some good stuff. That way I could use the, this new moonshine distillery for alcohol, so I could use that to make bandages. Storing water in here. Got this to smelt. And I got all this going on up here, and I did save these two guys, or two peoples, I don't know where the chick is, but uh, saved them from those bandit camps. Now, it w and, and then, oh, I got this workshop right there. So, in one of my last videos, or I, I think it was like episode four, I had somebody commenting saying that there is actually the city implemented in the game. I have mentioned in the past that there was a city, I, at least you see the screenshots of the shitty, shitty, yes, the shitty, the city... But you never really ever see the city. And that's because the way there is kind of hidden. I, I was never aware of this because I'm always following the road. But you never see anything directly connected. Now, I've always said that it's because you have to beat the zombie in the mine. And it leads. That's actually not true. I was corrected on that. And now I want to look into it. Mostly it's because the zombie... Now, just side note. Uh, I know I'm getting off track here. I know there's a group of guys that likes to camp out here. So I want to make sure... They're not going to be a problem when I proceed through. Oh, oh, there he is. Yep, yep, there he is. Oh, I can't even get my gun up. All right, all right, all right. Got him. Now, where's his butt? Where's his friends? Yep. There's one. Just waiting for this prick to put his... Stop moving like that. That's two. Oh. I think, his fr I think they saw he sees me. Oh, oh shit, okay. Okay, okay. And I'll take your gun, thank you. Now, yeah, I am bleeding, so that's going to be kind of an issue, but as long as I find medication, I should be okay. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, so I commented saying that the city is actually a thing that you don't need to beat the zombie. I was not aware of that, and, you know, part of me even thought that was a little absurd. It's like, eh, you know what I mean? It makes sense that, you know, you need to beat a boss in order to get to the next area. But, you know, at the same time, I'm actually happier to know that I don't need to beat him. Because that zombie, in qu this said zombie in question, has always been a pain in my ass. I I've played, like I said, I used to play this way back when this game, I want to say first came out. And there wasn't a whole lot implemented. And, uh, you know, even now there's not that much. The updates have been slow. So, but you know what? I can't really argue. Uh, I should... Probably go back now that I've got my ass thoroughly handed to me. So let me quickly head home, patch up, and then I'll head back out. But yes, so you don't need to beat the zombie, uh, the boss zombie, the tank, whatever you want to call this thing. Um, if I remember correctly, it was like a zombie with a hoodie on his head. Um, I'm just gonna navigate through these trees. I, I really don't. Ah, fuck. If you guys saw with my last video, I do not have the most confidence around trees. I think the greatest enemy in this game are the trees. Because they will not only destroy your car, but they'll do that. They will do this. Yes. My yep. 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 Exit. Okay. Anything in the trunk? Oh, I can't because the fucking engine's running. Wait, am I able to maybe... Oh! I mean, my... Parts are probably all levels of fucked, but you know what? Hey, it worked. I didn't have to disassemble the car. Oh, sh dude, can you not be a dick? Like, what are you doing? I nearly ran your ass over, you dumb son of a bitch. Okay. I mean, granted, I'm typically shitty with a gun anyway, so not a lot to be desired there in the first place, but still. What the f- You're unconscious? 
Revive cost. You were unconscious and... The f the f what? No! Why did I lose? I lost my... I the only thing I lost was the pistol! And I was in the friggin' bedroom! The fuck? It can you get the fuck out of my waist? Oh, Scott, you son of a bitch. Please, go the fuck away. Am I in your way? Like, is that what's going... Get the fuck out of my way, Scott. And now I get... There we go. Good. You know who's in charge here. I lost the ammo, didn't I? Yeah, I lost the ammo. Well, you know what? Where the fuck did the gun... God damn! Day. Oh, God... Oh, this game stresses my balls. Wait, okay, here's the head. That's something else I lost. Am I just gonna find the pistol? Where was this? This was never there. Why is things just magically manifesting? So am I just gonna find the pistol? Like, lying around? Am I still dying? What, what am I What am I missing right now? Well, I'm fatigued. Oh, this was gonna be about... About the city. Now it's about me being a f fucking dumbass. Ugh. All right, let's go get ourselves some medication. Yay! Am I still dying? No. Uh, we'll, we'll leave that there for me. Where the fuck did the? God damn! Day. Shit. Uh, you know what? How am I doing on food? No, fuck it. I'm just gonna go to bed. I'm gonna heal. Get my fatigue down, or up, whatever you want to call it. Oh my god. Seven minutes in, this episode is already a pain in my balls. Ugh. Wounded? Really? Really? I, was it the gunshot wound, or the fact that the car flipped over on me? What, what was your first clue? Ugh, god. Good, patched up. Um... Split half. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, I've been storing the sugar, salt, whatever the fuck this is. I've been storing it in here, so... Just continue that trend. Please stay there. Thank you. I'm gonna eat this. It always seems like drink is the one thing that goes down the quickest, so let's... Yeah, like a... Thirst, drink, same shit, different toilet. Alright, um... I'm just gonna take this. Just because it does help thirst. Uh... Treatment. Can I use this for treatment on myself? No? No, I can't treat myself. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty much boned. Painkillers? Is that a... Can I use this to... Heal pain? No? Well, not pain, but just general injury? No? Okay. You know, before I go out... I'm gonna save. I've learned my lesson. Where the frick did this come from? This is a random can of soda, just chilling. Okay, just loading my shotgun while driving my car. I uh, don't even know what's going on with this episode. First, my car flips. Scott blocks me in the doorway for a solid five minutes, and I drop dead from blood loss. Oh, don't flip me again. Holy shit. Okay, okay. My luck. I'm going to go through here, and there's going to be about... Not, not three guys, no, there's going to be like five. Gonna be five guys, and they're gonna be like super pissed. We're gonna have all assault rifles and Kevlar jackets. You know, fuck it, they're gonna have a minigun just because why the fuck not? And, and they're just gonna ruin my day because I murdered three of their friends, and they're gonna be pissed. So, from my understanding, from what I was told, you gotta go down here, and now, this is something I didn't realize. <gasps> you no, mm, come on. What did I hit? 
Uh, <laughs> well, you go down here, and I didn't realize there's a road. Uh, what's wrong with this game today? You go here, you make a little turn, you don't get shot by the sniper who's a dick. He'll just shoot you on sight. If I get shot at my car, I'm gonna be pissed. Here's the road. Yep, see, there, there's the road. Yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Now we're just gonna follow this. I think my car's turning on its own. There's a bandit camp there. I'm gonna wanna keep note of that. There's a. Oh shit. Oh, take it easy. Easy. We flipped enough. And enough of that shit today. But yeah, gonna wanna take note of that bandit camp. I wonder if there's another person just kinda sitting there. Like another. Like we got Scott and we got the other chick, and I wonder if there's like a third person now, or they've just literally copied and pasted the same person and gave them different names. Gonna keep on going. Oh, 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 wrong one. Ah, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Okay. Okay. Oh. Holy shit. Okay. Don't want to go up here. Probably not the smartest idea to go into town, you know, late at night, but. So here we are. Not entirely what I was expecting, I guess, but you know what? Fuck it. Def uh, you know, I was expecting to beat a boss, so, you know, still, very cool. Um, now, I also was told that there are bandits kind of just lingering around in the city, so I'm gonna have to, or town, or whatever you want to call us, i uh, gonna have to keep track of that. So, yep, they speak of the devil right there. I'm wounded. Yes. Think? What gave you that impression? Okay. Where did he go? Uh. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little nerve. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Let me just rob your ass. Okay. Where's your buddies? Oh, they're gonna just come and wreck me. Oh. <gasps> oh, that worked out better than expected. I don't know if I could shoot through that, so I'm gonna wait for him to... You have friends? Yes, you have friends. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Holy crap. Alright, watch all corners. You know, let me close that door just in case. I'm imagining there's gonna be a lot of ammo and good loot in this town. With how much resistance I'm meeting just now, I would expect there's gotta be something decent in this town. Gotta be. Okay, so I wonder if this guy. I wonder if he heard me. He's going to be the one to kill me. Watch, I'm going to turn my back, and this son of a bitch is going to pull out a shotgun like this, and my head is going to disappear. I mean, I really don't need to hold on to this air shotgun. Um, yeah. Yeah, let me leave it at that. Okay. Do I want to move the car up? Ugh. I mean, it's tough. Because if I start rolling in here, I feel like... I'm just going to piss off a lot more people. Oh, there's zombies in there. I hear them. I hear them growling. I hear them. That... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep, that's a nest. What about in here? Am I in your territory? Okay, nothing in there.
I'm getting very cocky right now. I am getting super cocky. Someone's just going to turn around and blow me away. Oh my god, I'm risking everything for painkillers. Oh, I have a problem. So, is it worth it? We're in a city. If I go in there, guns blazing, blow out the zombies. I, you know what? I don't think I want to go in there. Uh, let me at least check in here, see if there's... I at least want to make sure this area is clear, because if I start going in... You know, like a, like a friggin' fire... Holy Jesus. Really? Up there? Yeah, probably up there. I'm gonna rush in. It sounds like they're upstairs. It doesn't look like they're down here at all. Okay, nothing over here. Nothing over here. Oh, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Gonna go. Oh, they sound really aggravated up there. They sound like they can smell me and they want to maul my face off. They are not happy with me here. I feel like, uh, like those guys you watch on TV that, like, train dogs. And, and not like your typical, like, you know, dog show type dogs. I, I mean, like, 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 uh, those dogs that are in control that people baby and pamper and then, and then they end up turning into little shits, biting people's knees and things like that. I mean, those kinds of dogs. Uh, I need my bandages for a second. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, status. I mean, I love and hate the clock thing, where, uh, the game is like, yay, so this is this action is gonna take 30 seconds. I love it and hate it at the same time because of the fact that, you know, it adds that little bit of stress. You don't know if while you're doing this, if somebody's just going to murder your face off. Um, so, yeah, decent loot in this town so far. I mean, nothing spectacular, but also nothing regrettable either. Uh, you know what? Where are they? I want to know how m <laughs> Shit. Okay. I think he just missed me. Yeah, he just missed me. So, only two, really? Two for three shots. Eh. Not the worst odds. Electronic parts, that's always good. If I could find some gears, that would be really good. Now, yes, I know you can make gears. That I do know. But, eh, you know what? I'm one of those people that's like, I'd rather save resources for bigger projects. I'd much rather find the smaller things and make them. Trying to get an idea, so maybe I might have another two of them in there. So, are they both dead? They despawn very quickly, it seems. Uh, ooh, five, five, six. Uh, come on, I want it, I want it. So I have three shotgun rounds all together. Plugs, shells, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I'm oh a nine millimeter bullet! A single bullet! Yay! We're saved because of a single bullet. I think the most you could do is use the bullet on yourself. Let's see, how are we looking? Oh my god, my oh god. It's a risky move, but what I could do is I can proceed through the city and gather more loot. So, I'm gonna do a little resource management here. Uh, parts, more scrap. Well, shit. Nope, nope. Yes, no. Maybe. Yes, no. Fuck. 
Okay. I'm gonna save quick because I'm a bitch boy and I'm not gonna lie. I really don't wanna you know what? Hold on. I'm I'm not that dumb. Ugh. I really wanna save ammo. I do. I wanna save as much ammo as possible, but at the same time I'm not suicidal. So you know what? Let's Let's do this. And I think I'm doing so far so good with other forms of ammunition. Well, not ammunition, but I'm sorry, resource management. I don't know why I'm thinking. Again, today I can't think. I just can't think at all. That's just my thing. Uh, let's move up here. Cool. See, I feel like this is just going to be another em an empty building with nothing in it. But I also have this, like, odd feeling that I'm just going to go in one of these empty buildings, and for some reason, I don't know why, I have this feeling that I'm going to go in, I'm going to loot the place, and there's going to be, like, a buttload of ammunition. Like, I'm going to find, like, assault rifle rounds, like, it's just going to be, like, a developer room that you're not meant to find. Didn't think you'd find it, but for some reason I just happened to stumble upon it. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, there's a difference between hope and reality. I know I'm not going to find that room, because that room more than likely doesn't even exist. And if it does exist, it probably requires some cheating to get to. And I'm not going to really, I really don't want to do that. Because, I mean, these kind of games aren't fun if you cheat it. So, better to play it legit. I heard a noise. That makes me very concerned. Uh, do I need more rags? I mean, Jesus Christ, what am I, what am I gonna do with all these goddamn rags? Make Molotovs? Although, I'm surprised that's not a thing. I'm surprised. I mean, if, is that a thing? Molotov cocktails? Oh, I hear growling. I hear more snarling. And I don't know if I want to do it because I'm low on am ammo. Are these dudes just out and about? Or are they some... Uh... Holy crap, guys. I found the invisible church. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys ever wanted to explore a building that has no insides? Lucky day. Okay. Uh, but getting serious, though. Uh, oh. <laughs> fuck that, that's... Fuck that. For me to get kills, I, I need to go for lucky headshots. Fuck that noise, I barely have enough ammo to cover me. Honestly, I'm more worried about bandits right now than I am... than I am anything else. Funny story. Uh, trying to sell a game to a guy. I'm not going to say where I work specifically, but trying to sell a game to a guy. And telling him about Days Gone. Talking to Days, talking about Days Gone. And I explained to him that it's the kind of game where if you leave your bike around, you can end up finding that bandits are trying to rob your bike. He looks at me and goes, what's that? I'm like, a bike? You mean motorcycle? He goes, no, 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 the other thing. Bandits? He goes, yeah, what's that? I'm like, you, you don't, you don't know what bandits are? Yeah, what's a bandit? I'm like, criminals? And he looked at me like I had five heads. Like, he looked at me like I told him that the earth was actually flat and it was confirmed. Like, this guy looked at me like I was absurd. I'm like, you know, thieves? Criminals? Bad guys? You never seen an old western movie? You never played Red Dead? I think the guy even said he played Red Dead Redemption. So I'm like, you've never... Once in your life, heard of a bandit? Like, were you sheltered? Like, jeez, dude. Like, who hasn't heard of bandits before? Like, I'm sure there are different terms of said, you know, occupation. If you want to call it that, I don't know if that's a proper term, but I mean, I don't know if you want to call, I don't know if the term bandit, you know, is widespread. I'm sure other cultures have different names for such an individual, but 
you know, we're, we're, we're this dude was as American as I am, and you know, it he never knew what a bandit was, and I'm like, all right. I'm waiting for a zombie to just pop out and maul my face. Like, I'm waiting to lose skin. And ammo. And, you know, everything else that I spent the last 20 minutes gathering. Why do I keep hearing noises? Makes me paranoid. What did I hear? Did I loot this place? Again, I'm just gonna come in here, do my own business, and a bandit. Say it again. That person. I'm gonna come in here and friggin' bandits are just gonna blow my face off with guns. Wow, a lot of things ruining my face today, I'm realizing. Using that line. Either blowing my face off, maul my face off. Jeez. Okay, anything in here? You know what? I honestly think that uh, there's only like four dudes that kind of creep around this town, plus like one or two pockets of zombies. I really think that's all he that's here, because I mean, I'm not really running into a lot of resistance. The motel. You know, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna say, hey, yeah, nobody here, and then a whole friggin' army of guys are just gonna show up and ruin my day. Exactly what's gonna happen. Oh, and on top of that, they're gonna rob me. Not only will they ruin my day, they're gonna rob me too. Uh huh. Nothing. Oh, hey, toolboxes. Those, these are always good. I feel like toolboxes and scrap are the the most valuable resource in this game. It seems. Like oh oh oh, oh nope nope. Okay. It makes me so paranoid hearing them. Maybe if I crouch. It seems like they chill out when they don't necessarily hear me. Oh, I'm gonna be the superest careful ever. Super duper careful. Lots of the carefuls. I'm tempted to try to shoot the glass, but yeah, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not suicidal yet. No. So this place still needs to be modeled. No. No. Nope. Nope. Yet. Nine. I don't know any other version of no. It's, it's known Spanish. I don't, I, I don't know. I talked Spanish for like two years in high school and I still don't remember. Uh, I think I was here already. Yeah, this is the way I came in. Huh. Uh, you know, not what I was really expecting. Like, I was expecting, like, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting, honestly. I guess my expectations were much higher than... I, I, this church is bugging me. This church bothers me. It, it just, it fucking, it's so hollow. Why is it hollow? Uh, can I do anything here? Fuck it. I'm gonna roll down here and there's gonna be a whole squad just waiting. Waiting to try out their new guns on me. Guns that they probably stole from a nearby police station. That was abandoned. Can I get up here? Oh. Well, I feel stupid. See, you know what's bad? I was ready to spend the next solid five minutes trying to hop over that. You know, I'm glad that I preserved some of my intelligence. I don't know if you would... I mean, I don't know if I had any to begin with, but you know what? That's that's up to argument. How's my uh, fatigue looking? Well, you know what? Let's 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 uh, let's top off on thirst. Thirst and hunger, not not where I'd want it. 
Uh, yeah, let's go for a drink. This is Coca-Cola not a knockoff. I know I took that out of my inventory, I just realized that. Again. Feeling... Feeling painfully stupid. is that? Is that plants? It's a tree. A bush. Hmm. Nothing. Ah, uh, so this looks like I'm just gonna find a lot of wood here, and I'm not really interested in wood right now. Oh, come on. You could have easily turned this into a major scrap pile. Like, that would have been awesome. Going home with all that scrap and gears and just lovely. Oh, uh, okay, so this looks like, ah, I wonder if the developer is going to add more stuff. I mean, I'm tempted. Can I, can I do it? Can I do it? Just saying, fun fact, I did manage to drive off a cliff at one point in this game, like literally drive off into the abyss and just watched as the physics essentially broke down around me. Fun times. Yeah, the game didn't know what to do at that point. Once, once I hopped off... They were, the game was like, what the fuck do I do? He did something he wasn't intended to do. Why is this happening? You are, you don't sound nice. Oh. Oh. No, uh, do I want to waste shotgun shells? I mean, there's not really anything of value up there. I mean, anything that I'd really jump to grab. Uh, the only thing I'd really... I mean, is there any... Wasn't I up here already? There's nothing... Yeah, just... Yeah, nothing, nothing great. I'm realizing this is more of a town than a city than anything else. Again, kind of, I'm honestly a little disappointed. I was kind of hoping for more, you know, maybe more bandits kind of just hanging out. Um, that it, it makes sense, but it, the one thing that does kind of bother me a little bit with this game and comes down to bandits is like in this situation, right? Like I, start, I shot at one one guy, and everybody else came running looking for me. Now one of them. Or I should say, none of them saw me, except for the one dude. I, I killed him, and then his buddy started running. So they were not really running, but they were taking their time, kind of inching over because they weren't sure where I was, which I like. But I don't know if necessarily that should be the end of it. Like I feel like going down the other side of the town, there should be another squad waiting for me. Um, I don't think this game necessarily needs different zombie types. What I think could benefit this game is maybe like... You know, you have your bandits, and then maybe there's, like, two different factions of people. Uh, one's, like, one's peaceful, but they're not above theft. And then the other one is just flat-out aggressive and expects you to hand shit over to them simply because they have guns, and they're not afraid to use them. And then it kind of balances, like, well, you know, you guys do... You are known for being thieves, but the other guys aren't above murder either. So, oh shit, I wasn't paying attention to the road. I was not paying attention. Shit, shit, shit. No, no, no. Yes, yes, stay. Good. Good. But, yes. All that aside, I think this game would benefit from something like that. You know, civil alliances, things like that. Um, I don't, again, I don't think we need zombie types. I feel like the whole zombie mutation mechanic... That I think... I want to say Left 4 Dead is the one that... Oh, I'm going down the road way too far. Way, way too far. 
But I, I feel like that's a mechanic that was kind of overdone since Left 4 Dead. I, I feel like every other game saw Left 4 Dead's success and was like, hey, we need special zombies too. And it just kind of became a mechanic that other zombie games tried to replicate. It's not always a bad mechanic, but I feel like when so many other games do it, it's like, okay, guys, come on, enough is enough. Like, instead of zombie, I, I feel like that's an easier creating a variety of individual enemies. It's much easier to do that than it is to create more of a, like, a social dynamic, which I think this game would definitely benefit from. You don't necessarily need this game to be multiplayer in order for you to have social interactions. I mean, there's a game, uh, Freeman Guerrilla Warfare, that's out right now, and basically the core premise of it is, like, think if Russia never necessarily modernized, or at the very least, even unionized. It's not an independent country, it's, like, several warring states, and, you know, you're basically a warlord conquering other, you know, other neighboring city-states, and it's you know, basically spreading your offense. You're basically building Russia. You're creating Russia's history, basically. And it's a cool game because you're, you know, using AKs, using modern weapons, so yeah, it keeps it interesting. And that's what I'm saying. They, game single player, you're still interacting with the AI. You're still creating alliances, and that, it works. So I think a game like this could absolutely benefit from a system like that. Anyway, guys, enough of my ranting. That's going to be it for tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing me freak out as the game bugs out. As always, thank you again, and have a good night.